Well guys, as I say, there's nothing better than taking delivery of your brand new Peterbilt. Unless of course you're a salesman and you're taking delivery of four new Peterbilts. Yes, that's right. Some trucks just arrived. They're all sold, mind you, which is fantastic because these customers are waiting for them. This one here, this is a 367 high hood quad logger spec. They literally just pulled in the yard. Now being that, you know, this is kind of fantastic because you can see how uh, I've got the 80 mil front spring spacer blocks in there. This bad boy is going to sit up nice and high. We've got the progressive rate front spring pack. And uh, because it's so tall, they put the tires on the back. So I've got the four and a quarter Michelins. And uh, let's check out how they piggyback these things. Don't mind the rain. Um, I'll try and make sure I keep the camera clean. The one good thing about the rain is, you know what, it's gonna, it's washing all the mud off the trucks and the dust. Cause you know what they say, April showers bring May flowers, which means I can have flowers in the background of my wicked truck delivery videos coming up next month. So check this out. They've got the, the, I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a mini fifth wheel thing. It can either kingpin into a fifth wheel if it's for a tractor or they U-bolt it onto a truck. They've got the airlines running down the frame and then they tie in underneath. And here they actually tie into the air dryer and your light cord, where does it go? Goes, oh, they go right to the back of the truck and tie in there. <clears throat> This one, it's got the new way, um, 69,000 pound suspension. We've got the uh, Bridgestone L320s. Um, look at this, we've got our airline tied up. This is actually our fifth wheel slide switch. Um, I'll probably use it for a third locker switch on this one. <clears throat> Just absolutely fantastic. They got the rear bags over inflated and um, that's because the, the leveling valve is holding up these axles. <clears throat> Gives nice clearance so that they don't rub and scrub some tires, but uh, but yeah, I absolutely love it. There's the new diff tank. You know what, that's pretty good because with that diff tank, diff, with that diff tank spacing, with the diff tank spacing, it allows um, room for our U-bolts for, for our cab guard. Yeah, you gotta love it. This is a tractor, heavy spec, 567. It's got the 78,000 pound new way. Hello. Hi. And uh, this one's actually got the old school def tank. That's kind of interesting. I'm surprised it has the old def tank. Hmm. Interesting. Um, this one is actually MX powered. It is custom built for a customer of ours out of um, uh, Whitecourt, Alberta. A uh, long time customer. We actually did lots of, um, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Custom trucks, but different custom trucks. Let me just wipe that off. Sorry guys. Um, so actually this customer here was the first customer to have a ultra shift transmission in a truck and had the first test truck back in 2008 for the ultra shift transmission. So, um, so yeah, long time customer been with us as a customer since the 90s. So that's how long he's been doing business with us and we are very grateful for that. So, um, This one here is also another quad logger. It is getting um, an Arctic quad put on it. Now this one does have the new def tank with the stainless steel cover and we all know how much that sucker is worth. Yeah, friggin' worth its weight in gold. Bridgestone L320s again. This one's got Bridgestone L320s. Um, this one's got the big front spacer blocks because as you know, I love my big front spacer blocks. Just cause it's a Peterbilt doesn't mean it's got to sit low and slow. And let's face it, slow, no. Low, yeah, this one here. Now that one's low. This is a 389 that came in. Um, now, if you guys remember on Hellraiser, I told you that the def tank had a uh, broken neck and I would rob parts off a new truck to get Hellraiser going. Well, that's what I did. So unfortunately, this one is out of commission right now. That's why I haven't done a video on it. That's why it's not on the lot. Um, brought it in for a customer. They don't need it right away. Talk to them. Is it okay if we rob the def tank? The new def tank's coming next week. He said, you know what? Helps the guy out. I don't need it right away. No biggie. 
This one's got the air ride front end. Look at that. It's like slammed. Slammed from the factory. God, love this. Just beautiful. Look at this color. And um, here is the def tank. You'll see it's missing. No def tank, but, uh, but it's coming in. And it's interesting to see how it's mounted. Like, look at that. They were able to take it off and it just... Oh yeah, this is great. There's hooks on the frame. I don't know if you can see that if I zoom in. There's hooks on the frame, so it kind of, it just hangs there and then bolts right there. And uh, that's really interesting. You know what guys, we're learning every day and I just learned something. Um, you know, swapping out a depth tank on these things really isn't very hard. Because all I do is I send an email to the service department, swap out the def tank, and it just happens. No, um, <laughs> just kidding, not kidding. Anyways, um, yeah, so I just learned something. The def tanks, how they hang off the frame like that. They didn't have to pull the brackets. It's pretty cool. And um, this 389, you know what? We'll be pimping it out. But uh, for right now, she's back here. She needs a little polish, a little, little bit of shine. But look at how slammed it is. <laughs> look at how low this bumper is. And this is stock, like, it's, yeah. If I put that truck next to this one, the front bumper of this truck will fit under this one. And look at how mean this is. Just absolutely badass. So this is our 367 high hood with the 80 mil front spring spacer blocks. And let me tell you, it is a workhorse. I sell so many of these trucks. It's going to be a very sad day when they quit producing it. But uh, just absolutely fantastic. We got the big four and a quarters. Look at that. All the way from Denton, Texas, USA. Love it. Love it. But anyways, guys, that's today's update. I got a uh, 367 high hood with a small sleeper I was going to do a video on. But since these ones showed up, I figured I'd show you guys how we do it. Um, the guys are gonna get them on deck. They take in, uh, unhook the air, unhook the electrical. They'll unhook the safety chains. We'll pull them into the shop. Once we pull them into the shop, we'll undeck them, use the overhead hoist. Um, once we pull them off of the overhead hoist, we'll lower them down, put the front tires on, and uh, we can start the PDI process. We'll check them in as well at this time, see if there's any shipping damage. Um, our shop has actually taken on the task of that. Used to be the salesman always did it. And quite honestly, I've been so busy. I asked for help and you know what? They're helping me out. And thank you for that guys. You're doing a fantastic job because you know what? It's very important to do a proper check-in. Um, you know, check to make sure they haven't skidded these tires, you know, because they are running on the back tires. If uh, they locked them up, you could skid them, put flat spots. You know, we've had trucks, um, get hit underneath and uh you know thankfully i can say most of our drivers that haul peterbilts interestingly enough they haul peterbilts and kenworths so you know they're the number one of number one um but yeah so we watch for any damage but you know what most of the time there's no damage it's uh basically a formality but um you know what we want the truck to be perfect for you. So we're gonna go through it with a fine tooth comb and if it needs anything, we're gonna do it. And uh, we'll wash them up, get them ready for rig out. So coming at you, I'm gonna have this one with a quad rig out here. Well, I'll probably ship it off next week. One of the white ones is going out uh, right away. I might even ship that one off to rig out before PDI, depending. Hopefully I can get it in quickly for PDI, check driveline angles and that, and then we'll ship it off to rig out and uh, the green one as well um, we'll get that one sorted and the other white one is going to be a long logger um, it is a 268 inch wheelbase truck so i have to uh, sort out what we're doing there and uh, get my button gear and start planning so it's a beautiful rainy day in prince george thanks for watching guys like always take care peace till next time might be tomorrow actually Maybe this afternoon. Next week for sure, because you know, Tech Talk Tuesday comes up on Tuesday. So um, yeah, we'll see you again. Probably a lot. Oh, and I got something else. I got something in the wings. 
You know what, you guys that hung around till the end? Peter Mike might be buying a truck. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted.